Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 25th, read by Brittany F. from Houston, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Defects. What we must recognize now is that we exult in some of our defects. We really love them. Who, for example, doesn't like to feel just a little superior to the next fellow, or even quite a lot superior? Isn't it true that we like to let greed masquerade as ambition? To think of liking lust seems impossible. But how many men and women speak love with their lips and believe what they say so that they can hide lust in a dark corner of their minds? And even while staying within conventional bounds, many people admit that their imaginary sex excursions are apt to be all dressed up as dreams of romance. Pages 66, 67 Thought to Consider If I want God to remove my character defects, I need to have compassion for others that are asking God to remove their defects. Acronyms Time Things I must earn. Just for today, common denominators from On the Bridge Back to Life. As Bill read on, his own powers of reasoning helped him extract some important ideas from the weighty and intricate texts. He saw that all the cases described by James had certain common denominators. Despite the diverse ways in which they manifested themselves, these insights became important to Bill in his thinking about the plight of the alcoholic and his need for spiritual help. He would later say that James, though long in his grave, had been a founder of Alcoholics Anonymous. Of the three common denominators in the case of histories, the first was calamity. Each person James described had met utter defeat in some vital area of his life. All human resources had failed to solve his problems. Each person had been utterly desperate. The next common point was admission of defeat. Each of the individuals acknowledged his own defeat as utter and absolute. The third common denominator was an appeal to a higher power. This cry for help could take many forms, and it might or might not be in religious terms. The story of Bill Wilson and how the AA message reached the world. Pages 124 125. Daily Reflections. First Things First. Some of us have taken very hard knocks to learn this truth, job or no job, wife or no wife. We simply do not stop drinking so long as we place dependence upon other people ahead of dependence on God. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 98. Before coming into AA, I always had excuses for taking a drink. She said, he said, I got fired yesterday. I got a great job today. No area of my life could be good if I drank again. In sobriety, my life gets better each day. I must always remember not to drink, to trust God, and to stay active in AA. Am I putting anything before my sobriety, God, and AA today? As Bill sees it, those other people... Just like you, I've often thought myself the victim of what other people say and do. Yet every time I confess the sins of such people, especially those whose sins did not correspond exactly with my own, I found that I only increased the total damage. My own resentment, my self-pity, would often render me well-nigh useless to anybody. So nowadays, if anyone talks to me so as to hurt, I first ask myself if there is any truth at all in what they say. If there is none, I try to remember that I too have had my periods of speaking bitterly of others. That hurtful gossip is but a symptom of our remaining emotional illness, and consequently that I must never be angry at the unreasonableness of sick people. Under very trying conditions, I have had again and again to forgive others. Also myself, have you recently tried this? Letter 1946 Big Book Quote With the alcoholic, whose hope is the maintenance and growth of a spiritual experience, this business of resentment is infinitely grave. We found that it is fatal. 
For when harboring such feelings, we shut ourselves off from the sunlight of the spirit. The insanity of alcohol returns and we drink again. And with us, to drink is to die. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, How It Works, page 66. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Let us consider the term spiritual experience as given in Appendix 2 of the Big Book. Alcoholics Anonymous. A spiritual experience is something that brings about a personality change. By surrendering our lives to God as we understand Him, we are changed. The nature of this change is evident in recovered alcoholics. This personality change is not necessarily in the nature of a sudden and spectacular upheaval. We do not need to acquire an immediate and overwhelming God consciousness, followed at once by a vast change in feeling and outlook. In most cases, the change is gradual. Do I see a gradual and continuing change in myself? Meditation for the Day Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For the rest from the care of life, you can turn to God each day in prayer and communion. Real relaxation and serenity come from a deep sense of the fundamental goodness of the universe. God's everlasting arms are underneath all and will support you. Commune with God not so much for the petitions to be granted, as for the rest that comes from relying on His will and His purpose for your life. Be sure of God's strength available to you. Be conscious of His support, and wait quietly until that true rest from God fills your being. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may be conscious of God's support today. I pray that I may rest safe and sure therein. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Brittany, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.